when the pole comes in. This is a uh, chanchiella. Anna, me, and Daisy. And today we are about to try uh, Puerto Rican? Uh, Caribbean. Puerto Rican. Caribbean. Caribbean fruit okay. name Canepa. So I never had Canepa. And uh, I'll let Anna describe the flavor <laughs> and the fruit. <laughs> um, so I'm from Florida, we've always had this my whole life growing up in the summer, but if, the best way of describing it is that it's like a peach, where it's very fleshy and has a large pit, but the flesh does not come off easily off the pit from it, so you have to suck on it or scrape it with your teeth. So you can just either break it open by biting it or with your hands, depending on what you wish, and you get this fleshy, fleshy type. It almost sounds like a little, like the skin of a the limon, oh. the lemon, yeah. or lime, like but clear. very thin. Very thin, yeah. This is like very interesting. So and what it do comes you do? Out, it's, it's, to me, it's like a semi-sweet. It's not very flavorful, extremely, but it has enough of a flavor. It can't be very sugary. You can't feel it on your teeth a lot, especially oh, really? if you bite it. Like you sugar cane sugary? Like sugar cane sugary. And um, depending on how ready it is or how ripe it is, and then when it gets more ripe, it becomes almost sour. Oh. And the, you know, it'll smell different, the color will be different, it'll be a little darker. So like these ones are, uh, when they get like this, uh, like greenish, it's already like ripe? It's, it's ready, it is ripe, but when it becomes almost to the point of being bad, it will become very soft, right. you'll touch it and it'll like collapse on itself. Oh really? The skin will like just kind of like fall out. So. So what do you do once you uh, peel it out? So you just peel it, uh -huh. peel it out. I use my teeth, crack it open, lots to do. You can see it has like a skin on it almost. Oh, yeah. And a lot of times that's where the sugar's at. So it's almost like the uh, coffee bean, it has like an outer, uh, like outer, skin. outer shell. Yeah. I usually take a, a small to see if I should expect it to be a little sour. You don't have to <laughs> surprise, it'd be good. And then... I just bite the whole I thing? I just bite it out, squeeze it out. You gotta be careful though, especially if you have a kid or if you're giving it to your little kid, it's just like a choke on a large pit. Is there a large seed inside? Is that what I'm biting on? Yeah, I don't usually chew on it, I usually suck on it and scrape it off with my teeth. Oh, that's interesting, it has like a huge... Baby. Hi boy. What you do? Oh, you gonna turn it off? <laughs> Okay, I can't get rid of the uh, the pulp. It's hard. You have to suck and, and scrape at the same time. But I can see where it's like sour, sweet, and uh, kind of like a citrus taste. Mild, mild uh -huh. citrus. Mild citrus taste. Like Uh, that's not one of the side effects, people. Uh, Daisy is a little interesting when it comes to carrying new things. Oh, and she had coffee too. So that's why she's a little... I still have the, uh, the, uh, the pulp on it. I haven't finished it, look. It's not easy. It takes like a little bit of time. I thought it was going to be like a, like a tamarindo, mm -hmm. you know, where you pull out the pulp uh, of the tamarind and you're left with a little seed, but this one has a, a harder time getting rid of, the, of, of all the pulp. Because look, the seed that Ariana has is already like all the pulp. And mm -hmm. mine still has the... Uh, it's like a peach, but you gotta really. You know, a lot of times when the, when the peach is not quite as ready, the it will stick to it. You have a hard time getting away from this. Yeah. But. These are very good. Mm -hmm. I never had them. So your dad sent you these from uh, Puerto Rico, or no? From, he sent them to Florida. From Florida. 
Oh, he's been from Florida. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure oh, where they're from, from, honestly, but David, my cousin them? got them in, um, get them in Michigan. Really? I wonder where I can grow them out here. Um, but I've never seen them out here, and this is the second year my dad was able to send them to me. So he sent them to me. <laughs> me a lot because of how hot it is. They're ready in the summer, and by mm. time the summer here is already so hot, so he has to send me a whole bunch that aren't quite ready yet, so they don't so is there like a specific season that they're this actually... This is the season for it. It's the summer. The summertime, okay. So like the summer here would be the same thing in Florida, in Florida except that over there is what, like hotter and humid? It's not as hot, it's more humid, so sometimes it feels hotter. Mm -hmm. But the trick, since it's not being you know, air conditioned in the postal vehicles or the yeah. box, Yeah. They, they ripen like they ripen super fast yeah. on the box. So. And I do. You still have some of them. Yeah. But it's yeah. Just you. Like with time, you'll notice sometimes you put the sugar in your teeth. Mm -hmm. It kind of has like a. Oh my teeth! My teeth. Los placas. They're pretty good. mild. Yeah. They're not, to me, they're not extremely flavorful. They have flavor, yes. Some are those no, they do have flavor. a, you know, a very good flavor. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, uh, I want to say like a guayaba, but um, kind of like a guayaba, but the guayaba has a lot of seeds inside. Seeds, yeah. You know, so. Uh, I see why I see no guayaba. But in this case, it's just one large seed. I'm trying to feel if it has like a seed inside. You can try cracking it open in a cold paper or drop it in the other. I'm gonna let this one dry and see if I can like grow the seed. I mean, here we are in Yuma, so uh, Yuma, for those that don't know, is like really, really hot. Uh, the last couple of days it's been like 115, 116, and I tried growing a few things out here and they, they were very unsuccessful because of the uh, uh, Yuma sun. So. But I'll try this one and see what happens. Yeah, and I gave Anna some uh, Colombia, Mexico, and Guatemala dark roast coffee. This is actually one of my favorite blends. It has become one of the favorite blends because of the flavor. It's like real. And I'm sweating because I was in the garage and I was grinding it. But <laughs> I roasted this one a couple of days ago. So. It should be like really, really, really fresh. You're gonna like this one. We're gonna be really excited. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. I'll upload this to YouTube. Say uh, bye, bye bye. Thank you, Anna, for the. Crepas. Cre crepas? Kenepas. Kenepas. Because crepas is something else, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's crepas. Thank you. Bye. -bye.